who it's pulled left or right. Which way? All right, guys, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. This thing is taking freaking forever. There we go. There we go. It just took a minute. Guys, 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 pay attention. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't be getting Kay loose. <laughs> You're so silly with your sun hat. <laughs> oh, I am Chang Chi K. And I like your green outfit. It is very bright. You look like a praying mantis. You look like a large, giant Chinese praying mantis. They are very scary. I get shy around the praying mantis. It might bite me. I'm very scared. Chan Chi K. -K. I am very Chinese. I am Cantonese. I am Cantonese, which is southern China. We are not communist. We are very capitalist. And you are going to learn today, sir. You're going to learn about a Chinese happy nugget. A jug. Jug. A nurin. That is correct. Nurin. That means. That means woman in me. Chicken little red. That is me. One little happy. Okay. Let's stop. Get, sick. Get across the street. Hurry. Hurry up. Move your legs. <laughs> Chan Cheek K is so happy to be here. Aren't you happy to be here, little Chan Chi K? Yes, I, your stream is seems to experience some buffering, and I do not like it. It is making me upset. Very upset. You need to get your stream under order. Okay? Thank you for letting me know, Chan Chi K. Okay, okay. We're gonna get on track. Uh oh, there's another little ling. A little ling. Nope. Okay, let's go. She has a kid. Good for her. It's about time we repopulated the West, dude. <sighs> but yes. She's like, he is struggling. Is he recording me? Gentlemen. Legionnaires. Legionnaires. I'm wearing bright green today. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, it is not a color that suits me because I have ultra white skin. Okay. So just bear with me. But it was ultra hot out today, guys, and I was not wearing black, hell no, dark skin. See, when you have light skin, you look great. Dude, I'm extra white today. Because I put extra sunscreen all over. Because white people burn very easily. Get used to it. If you're white, you're going to get burnt. Anyway. Holy moly, file into the room. Go ahead, donkey punch the like button. Finger the freaking subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. I'm wearing my 90s glasses today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, Chan Chi K is back. She's the tiniest little Cantonese nugget you've ever seen. And she's very adorable, gentlemen. She has the softest skin. Holy moly. It, it feels like her skin is made of silk. Chinese silk. That it, 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 silk originated in the Chinese region from the silkworm. Yes, I know, Chan Chi K. Don't start giving me a big ass history lesson, aka nature lesson. But you are wearing praying mantis colors. Praying mantis kung fu. Okay, okay. I got you. <laughs> in honor of the pra Guys, there's a praying mantis in my garden. I'm not kidding. And today I caught a moth and I was trying to feed him. But that didn't go so well. The moth fell. And I was like, damn it. God damn it. Anyway, he keeps growing, so he's finding food. So it's not really that big of a deal, I guess. He'll find food. There's plenty of little insects. As this ambulance jumps into my stream and is going to make a lot of noise. Oh, yeah. Old people dying asleep. Uh, 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 my pacemaker, uh, my pacemaker, uh, 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 uh. that was my pacemaker, can't breathe, walking in front of normies, 
sound a little bit like Rosalind Pork Belly. <sighs> but I'm really old. Anyway, getting your passport would change your life, gentlemen. Holy moly. Wow. Every time I think back on all of the journeys that I've had and the ones that are coming up pretty soon, it all goes back to her. It, it all goes back to expanding, broadening your horizons, expanding. But before we get started, donkey, put your like button, a boop, a boop, hit the like button, comment in the comment section, share this stream. You don't have that many views. Why do you have so many subscribers and so many views? Well, maybe YouTube pushed this out, you stupid person. <laughs> Why do you do this? Why do you, ugh, I'm a hater. Ugh. I don't care what you... Just kiss my ass. <laughs> I'm saying it jokingly, YouTube. Calm down. Here comes YouTube. YouTube's coming to kick the crap out of me. You're going to be demonetized. Demonetized. I love how, guys, the first, like, <laughs> eight to ten hours of the stream, it's completely monetized. And then after that, demonetized. Then I have to go through a re review process. It's all right, though, guys. One day I'm going to make money on this channel. One day I'm going to make a living on this channel, and I'll be just traveling. Around. You guys are going to be like, where did he go this week? He's in Bali, Indonesia. Oh, crap, he's in Japan. Oh, crap, he's in Korea. It's going to be out of control. Because, gentlemen, the only thing that stops me is just exercise equipment. I just set up my exercise equipment where I want to go, and that's that. My specialty equipment. Once I got that stuff going, I'm pretty much set. Like when I went to Hong Kong. Spectacular. Go to China. All set up, you're ready to go for me. I'm like, oh, thank you, God. Got all my specialty crap set up. Just make, guys, it makes the flights easier because sometimes, guys, you're on a flight for 19 hours. I mean, Jesus Christ. There's not a lot to do on a flight for 19 hours. I don't care if you're in first class. I don't care if you're in business class. I don't care where you're at. I want you guys to prepare for when you get your passport because you're going to be flying around a lot and you're going to get a little bit of jet lag. But... But when you get there, that's why I always suggest you take at least a few weeks, at least a few weeks for when you do travel, so that way you can absorb all the new scenery. You can understand what's going on. One thing that I had to get used to in Hong Kong was a lot of smoking. Well, not that much, not as much as Europe. Europe, they, they, uh, they smoke a lot, lot more, but... Like when I went to Mexico, I had to get used to the strange way that they directed traffic. Kind of like America, but more run down. You know what I mean? So, anyway. Today's going to be a good one. Don't you punch the like button, figure the subscribe button, comment in the comment section. Share this stream. Hit the notification bell. Become a Legionnaire member. Show your solidarity. Appreciate that. Links are in the description, gentlemen. For those of you who do want to talk to traditional foreign women, Links are in the description. You want to meet them? I'm delivering. <laughs> so we're going to see how this sponsor works out. Yes, we are. Wow. American women. Hmm. They can't compare. They just can't. They'd like to. They'd like to be able to compete. They'd like to be able to compare, but they can not Unfortunately, unfortunately, their way of life is completely the opposite of your average traditional foreign woman. And this is very readily apparent. When you start talking to traditional foreign women, guys, they start telling you things that don't really add up. When you start talking to people from other countries, they start telling you about how much they miss their country. Man, I'm a bright green. Look at that, dude. <laughs> it's almost like neon green. What are people? Plus, I got the green uh, light vest today. That's like ultra, ultra green. That's praying mantis green. But we're going to go to the beach, so... And it was... Guys, it was hot today. It was ultra hot. So... I need to uh, make sure that my skin can take the beating. It gets a little bit violent on my skin. So, 
when you start speaking to people from other countries, especially traditional foreign women, you start to realize there's a specific way of life that they live that is very contrary to the average American woman. And it's pretty evident and pretty, it becomes very, very apparent that they live in a completely different environment. Holy cow, the sunset's looking pretty spectacular. You guys want to see? Take a look. I don't see any stream lag, so we're doing all right. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is their way of life is much more simple than you could ever imagine. And what I mean by simple then of course, the little. Whenever I say this, the American girls pop up and say, "Oh, see, they're dumb." It, it's it. You are the most. <laughs> to the AWs out there who are jealous, just sit your ass down, because you look like, you look like me, kind of, kind of, kind of goofy, <laughs> with your green shirt on and your big, <laughs> your massive flying saucer, saucer sun hat and little tiny uh, sunglasses. It, and what I'm getting at is they live a different life in that it's very simple. It's very straightforward. There's not a lot of drama or conflict in their existence. And once you guys get a taste of that, you're never going to go back. You're never going to go back to the anger, the venom, the constant need for attention and that's why the vast majority of these dumbass dating coaches and game guys are liars because they've never been overseas they just assume and they of course lie to you to try to keep you here and the reason why i bring them up so often gentlemen is because they are your going to be your biggest detractors it's not even going to be the american girls it's going to be guys that want to keep you here. Male jealousy is one of the most powerful and most destructive forces on the entire planet. Guys, no woman is ever going to snuff you out for going overseas. But there are guys out there that are crazy enough, simps that are strong enough. They call it death by simp on uh, Coach Greg Adams' channel. Shout out to him. But you will have guys that are so jealous of you leaving, of you becoming successful, of you getting the hell out of, out of Dodge, that they'll come and try to, you know, they'll try to stop you. Guys, you've seen men come in and save women who weren't even in any type of distress at all. The girl just yelled, help. So you guys got to be careful, man. You got to be careful. Anywhere where you can succeed and escape dating in the West means you're going to have a ton of distractors. Because gentlemen, do you guys understand that the economy runs off of your misery? I got a newsflash for all my young guys out there. I got a newsflash for you, a big one. The world in the West, literally, check out this beautiful, wow, it is gorgeous out today. The vast majority of our economy runs off of men's misery and suffering and backbreaking labor. And that's why everybody's crapping their pants about men walking away. Because who's going to pay the bills? Ladies sure as heck aren't doing it. They're in massive amounts of debt that they'll never get out of. Guys, there's taxes. There's certain debt that you can never get away from. And the ladies are in big, big, big amounts of it. Massive amounts. They're in some serious, serious trouble. And they don't know what to do about it. Why do you think they keep coming back and saying, oh, we'll, we'll be submissive. We'll be nice to you. Wink, wink. We won't, we're, 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 they don't even say that they're sorry. They just say, oh, of craziness and chaos. Their whole lives are literally crazy. From when they get up in the morning to when they go to sleep at night, it's pure nuttiness. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is to give comparison to the traditional foreign women overseas. 
didn't even know there was a steakhouse back here. Why would they put this steakhouse way back here? I didn't even know it was back here. What the hell? I wonder if it's even in business. This place is just, just sitting back here. I don't understand what the hell that's all about. So, in comparison, you know, you've got your average, what is it, uh, <laughs> American woman, comes up through life, is told she needs to be a dude every day of her life. She's pretty much pushed in that direction. She takes, it, and of course she runs with it. She's just as pal, she's just as culpable. I wonder if there's any seals out there, guys. Can you see any seals? I can't see any. I just see a lot of big ass pelicans. I don't see any seals. Huh, I wonder where they're at. Well, I guess we'll find out. You got your average AW just cruising through life on Easy Street, as a lot of the Wanisphere guys say. Crying about female nature and all these stupid buzzwords they don't even under they get a little bit of it but most of it it's kind of they're, they're operating from a very limited limited sphere of experience right they, they really they, they know a little bit but guys it's a very very small small chunk and so your average aw what she does is she cruises through life on easy street parents pay for everything and then by the time she leaves home, she is already thinking that she doesn't need to do anything, right? All she needs is a cell phone. That's pretty much it. And get a career and get a job and have fun when you're young and all that other nonsense. And then by the time she hits college, she thinks she knows better. She's been given a bunch of stuff by older dudes, rich dudes, etc., etc. She's had her butt kissed. She thinks she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. She doesn't build up a personality. She doesn't build up anything in terms of skills. She's pretty much skillless. She doesn't know how to clean. She doesn't know how to cook. She doesn't even know barely how to clean her room. Check out this incredible view, guys. Holy cow. Man. What is that guy doing? Oh, he's on a, one of those cool surfboards. It goes right above the water. How the hell do you even... I don't know what the hell that thing is. He's having fun on it. Now, by the time they're grown up, by the time they leave college, they've now accrued a massive amount of debt and picked a crappy degree that is completely useless. Usually something along the lines of poetry or social services or psychology. Now, are they going to start a psychology business? No. Why did they go into psychology? Because they're trying to figure out how crazy, why they're so crazy. They're really trying to find themselves. You're going to hear this a lot, very often, guys, them finding themselves. Which means absolutely nothing. It's them trying to figure out why do they keep choosing Chad. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I mean, come on, man. They really don't understand themselves. So now they have a massive amount of debt with a worthless degree that they can't even use. They're supposed to find themselves. They're supposed to figure out what to do with life. They're told, oh, you can do anything you want in life. Guys, this is the beginning of the end. Because when you tell somebody they can do anything in life, you're not narrowing anything down. You're just giving them a bunch of fluff. Now, the reason why I brought up China is because, again, in China, they teach their kids that you can become what you want to be within reason. That you can become what you need, want to be with hard work, dedication, focus, etc. But your best bet is to get married and to settle down and have children. Do you see what I'm saying? They're given a much, much more structured path. So you get a lot less floundering, lost dummies who have no idea what the hell to do with themselves. You get somebody with an identity. The average American girl doesn't even know who she is. She's 50 different genders every day. One day I feel like a palm tree. You know what I feel like being is a palm tree today. I feel like a palm tree. I'm just going to sway around. That's your average AW, man. Your average AW spends every dollar that she has thinking that some dude is going to come along and pay 
all those bills later on. Guys, where do you think they get all this money? Where do you think they get all this money? <laughs> They're buying shoes. They're buying, buying handbags. The average guy doesn't spend a dollar on these things, any dime on these things. I know they're high, their higher maintenance overall, women. <coughs> Damn, it's the first time I've sneezed in a while on my... <coughs> Dang. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> but your average AW spends a lot more than your average traditional form woman. Your average traditional form woman does not spend this type of money on makeup and shoes and clothes and things she can't afford, guys, because she knows that... The man she's going to get later on down the line is not going to pay for that stuff if she's in massive amounts of debt. This is another reason why American women are, are going to be single for a very long time. You see what I mean? They banked on the possibility that a man is going to come along and pay all her bills. Now, simps used to do this in mass. But the Steve Harvey days... Are coming to a close the logan paul days are coming to a close because the average gen z and gen alpha guy is being raised with this stuff right in his face he is seeing real time the destruction of simps in real time he is able to see how bad it can get the average guy these days from you know 20 30 years ago is not even thinking about marriage he doesn't see any upside. The average guy these days is having discussions and listening to discussions on podcasts about not getting married. And why am I bringing all this up? Because it's the exact opposite overseas. The average woman that you meet who is young, like all these young Kayleafs you see in my videos, all these young Kayleys, the average woman that you guys meet overseas who is young, is not even talking about a career. She maybe have a, a little hostess job where she's a waitress or something or a hostess. But that's pretty much it. Maybe she works at a small retail store or she works at a small, what is it, um, what is it called, a uh, market for her parents. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. What she's doing is she's trying to meet a good guy. She serendipitously wants to meet a good guy who comes into her little shop. That looks like my mom's old car. What the hell? She had an old green Acura. But what they're doing is they're waiting to meet their nice good guy in person in the real world, not online, guys. And by the way, the ones that are online use that more of as a backup. To try to get a good guy and some of them are desperate some of them are liberal but at the end of the day your average traditional foreign woman is not planning for a career at all they couldn't care less guys they they look they'll kind of look at you funny when you talk about that stuff if you say oh how's your career coming along they're gonna huh now of course they do get educations they do go to school they like to learn. Traditional foreign women are very bookwormish, very nerdy. <clears throat> they like to stay out of trouble because their parents are very strict. But it is the opposite with the AWs. American women are the exact opposite. They're doing lots of recreational drugs in college. They're getting into massive amounts of trouble, racking up massive body counts. Their lifestyles are very different. So when you do, when you gentlemen do go overseas, you're going to have to change your mindset almost immediately. Another reason why I do these traditional foreign streams is I want you to know what you're getting into as soon as you get there. Because gentlemen, if you're not prepared, you're going to be doing a lot of stupid crap like the dating coaches tell you to run game over there. These guys, I swear, man. <laughs> <laughs> they're literally the snake they're the worst of the worst just do this don't do that oh yeah yeah 
Don't leave. Uh. <laughs> My stream is glitching just a little bit. <laughs> that stream is not liking what we're doing, but that's okay. It's probably a dating coach messing with the stream. Sips love making you miss making sips love you ever notice that <laughs> the sips that hate on passport bros are usually these big fat guys with recessed chins have you guys ever noticed that they've never even seen a woman in <laughs> oh man sips are funny man sips entertain me well they were just not like you very much they always have the same voice it sounds like uh uh Kind of like um, the AI out of some video game. Well, they wouldn't like you if you go over. If you, you're just a predator, that's what you are, a predator. <laughs> they can't. They can't grow one facial hair. <laughs> they always have like huge patches of hair missing, and like one little <laughs> chin hair. <laughs> Oh, they have negative testosterone. <laughs> oh, dang. Look at that, Kaylee. Hi, hey, Kaylee. How you doing? She got a man, but man, she's in shape. I like them types of Kayleys, man. Good job, Kaylee. Staying in shape. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. Guys, I love it when simps get mad about this stuff. And you should, too. Gentlemen, if... People are hating on you and they hate what you're doing and they're mad about it. Why would you care for a second? I have some subscribers that get affected by this and it tells me that they're not quite sure. Some of my subs are a little worried. They're a little unsure of what's to come and that's fine. I totally get it. But the more research that you guys do and the more you get out, guys, you're going to be, you're going to be, guys, have you noticed how calm I am? about all this it's really it's it's <laughs> you guys are gonna love because when you do get out and you're free you're gonna be like dang that guy in this stupid sun hat was right it's a whole different world out here I got I've got little I've got Asian Latinas I got what everybody's nice to me there's no Karens here what are you guys going to do when there's no Karens around? What are you guys going to do when everybody has a smile on their face and they're friendly and they, they want to know about your culture and they can barely speak English, but they're very nice? What are you guys going to do? You're going to do backflips. That's what you're going to do. And that's why I reject women in the West. That's why I turned down the little ladies in the West. And that's why all the little simps Oh, no, they don't, bro. You don't, do, 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 do. you don't reject anybody, bro. I need receipts. I don't care if you want to see receipts, buddy. You can look at my videos and see all the hot chicks everywhere. Tr you can trust in that and then kiss my, uh, what is it, uh, sunscreened, wiped buttocks. I don't care if you believe me or not. And you're, by the way, to all the simps out there who are mad about this stuff, I'm glad. I'm glad you're staying in the West because you wouldn't survive over the seas. You wouldn't survive overseas for two seconds. And you know it. That's why you're so pissed. <laughs> you think any man overseas is going to put up with you, your simping behavior and your weak jelly bag? They are going to... Kick you, excuse me. They're going to kick you out of the country so fast your head will spin. Should we go to the marina? Nah, let's go to the other city. Let's go to the city. Oh. Go to the city. Let's go. Let's go see some kings. Let's go to the beach. Let's see the sunset. Yeah, you simps out there. You will not be surviving overseas at all. They're going to take one look at your ass and they're going to boot you right back over to the west where you belong. By the way, to all you simps, you do belong in the West. You belong in the West being stomped on. Because that's what you enjoy. Hey, Kaylee, how are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm trying to get in shape here. I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try. Poor Kaylee. She's cute. 
<laughs> she had her sunglasses on. She was she's like she's panting, man. <laughs> oh poor Kay. Oh Kay. You kid. Here's the here's the other one I love from the Sims. You can't get him. You can't get Oh really? You sure about that, son? Oh wait wait. What's that app seeking? Oh you gotta pay to get to it, bro. Have you looked in the mirror, son? You literally have to dress up. You have to swipe eight billion times on Tinder. You have to get ghosted a million times. You have to get flaked on. Right. And you didn't pay for it at all, did you, son? Are, are we going with are we going with the I don't pay argument? Son, you are about 18 years behind. <laughs> I don't pay. Okay, right. Let me let me see some receipts then, son. If you're so Mr. Suave, let's see some receipts. I want to see your receipts, bro. Son, I never claimed to have anything. It's you, you sucker. You western simp, you spineless little weak man. Man, if you were in front of me right now, you know what I would do? Right in your forehead and you would just fall over. That's you. <laughs> I just, you, know what, you know what I'd do? I'll go to my garden and I'll pull out that praying mantis. I'll take the praying mantis like this. I'll put the praying mantis right in your face and you'll just fall over. I'll take the, the, the this little tiny praying mantis and you'll be like, oh, it's a bug. Oh, no. The, the praying mantis who's like an inch, like two, three inches long would beat you. <laughs> I don't even need to do anything. And that's what I really want you guys, my legionnaires to know. That simps don't exist overseas at all and that's why it's paradise. Imagine a country where you go to and the men are in charge. Imagine a country you go to and the men don't take jack s. Imagine a country you go to where the guys are united and not divided and saying, oh, don't do this bleh, with their mouth breathing nonsense. Ah, Mr. Dacus, a lot of these males, right, they're males, make videos looking for an explanation, but we don't owe them anything. The passport bros are the prize. Mr. Dacus is a very wise, wise individual. I don't know how you old you are, Mr. Dacus, but you're a wise individual. Gentlemen, I don't apologize for any of this crap, and I don't explain it. And by the way, why do they want an explanation so badly? Hey, Kaylee. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's up, Kaylee? Uh, I don't know. We're on e-bikes. We're doing things. No, we don't owe them anything. And by the way, gentlemen, to all the guys who are asking for an explanation, why do you think they're asking? Because they don't know. They've never left. And by the way, gentlemen, ever since I started leaving and flying, I noticed that the simping in these other countries was gone. There was no there was no simps at all. In fact, when I first left the country, I was like, where are all the simps? Every guy's chill. You know, I always talk about the ladies overseas, but I never talk about the guys overseas. The guys overseas are very, very chill. They're very respectful. If you're respectful, they have great attitudes. In fact, this may surprise you guys, but they're very very protective of their women and what i mean by that is if you're a game guy idiot simp who thinks he's cool and tries to run up the biggest losers on the planet when they start doing that what the local guys will do i never really got into this too much guys because i'll probably get a yellow all the time but if you try to do that stuff overseas the local guys will find you I'm not making this crap up, guys. You have to be very careful what you do overseas. Do not disrespect their women. Do not disrespect their culture. So if you're a game guy and you start lying, 
and you don't want to pay up front for liberal girls, which you do have to pay up front, gentlemen. Every woman costs, even this little Kaylee right here. Ha <laughs> ha, I've got my sunglasses on. Yeah, I'm so important. Yeah, see how I look. Sorry, guys. What the F? <laughs> that was my fault, guys. Hit <laughs> the freaking... Jesus. Vocal dance music. Sorry, dude. That was my stupid mute button. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> I gotta be... Jeez Louise. Here I am talking, and you guys can't even hear me. That was my fault. I was clicking around on other stuff. Hold on a sec. Let me try. I'm gonna experiment. Okay, now I got it. I got it. Autofocus. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of different functions. Sorry about that, gentlemen. <laughs> anyway, let me get back. Let me get back to it. So let's say you go overseas. Let's say you are hanging out. Let's say you are going to different bars, different clubs, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and you attempt to run game and be a Mac or one of those stupid players. Let's say you run a, some game on these 304s on the left. Now, what's going to happen? Well, first of all, <laughs> some thoughts right here. First of all, what's going to happen is the local guys are going to take note of your behavior. You guys think that they haven't seen, seen this stupidity before they have. Then what they're going to do is if you piss off the liberal local women, the women at the bars, the women at the clubs, the women who are selling their services, if you know what I mean, if you piss them off and think you're going to get away with it, you got another thing coming, buddy. You're going to either end up in jail or worse. 
because the men in these countries are very protective and they are all over it. They do not let these thoughts get out of control. And by the way, they don't even keep them in check. All they do is just tell them what to do and other thoughts keep them in check. Other ladies keep them in check. I bet you didn't know that, now did you? The average guy doesn't let... He has rules and he says, don't wear this in public. He says, don't wear that. And you know what happens? The other ladies keep her in check. And if she gets out of line, what happens? They chin check her ass. <laughs> it's pretty simple, man. But in America, American women, they're out of control. No rules, and the other women don't enforce them. This girl's tall, man. She's like my height. So to all you game guys out there, you got another thing coming, buddy. You go ahead and run. And by the way, if you try to run game on a traditional foreign woman, oh, now you're in big trouble. Because not only are you going to get the local guys, but you're going to get her family as well. And guys, there have been some very bad things that have happened to dumbasses who go overseas and try to pull this crap. Very bad things. You can look up the stories yourself. But if you follow what we teach over here, you may have any problems at all. If you respect the local men and local women, you will have an amazing time. If you talk to a Colombian guy in Colombia about how terrible the American girls are and et cetera, et cetera, and how liberal and retarded they are, <laughs> essentially he's going to laugh. And you're going to say, I want to marry a traditional Colombian woman, et cetera, and he's going to be on your side. And you start talking about how, what you bring to the table. Guys, he's probably going to help you out. Because they're proud of who they are. They're proud of their women. They're proud of their behavior. This girl's really tall. I think she's just a little bit taller than me. This chick, this chick on the left. She's probably like about 6'2". She's a big, big girl. Tall girls have today. Probably playing volleyball. So this is some of the things that you can expect overseas. Guys, every time... To my legionnaires, every time I went to Mexico, I saw some idiot at the bars trying to run game. Guys, it's, it doesn't end well. It doesn't end well, okay? There's always some America. And by the way, if you piss off the locals, if you disrespect their country, gentlemen, you are an idiot because you're not in America anymore. Mr. I'm free. This is a free country. Are you stupid? Are you using your brain? Anybody home? Think, McFly. Think. Use your mother effing brain. <laughs> stupid. And then, of course, the scariest one that I ever saw when I went to, when I was flying to Hong Kong and I stopped off in Beijing. And everybody was nice and polite. And this one dude, this guy's weird. He's always got that stretched bike with, with the speakers on it. Anyway. So, I'm in Beijing International Airport. And this guy, I paid him a couple bucks, a couple yen. Some RMB. I paid him a couple, and he goes, he takes me across the whole airport, shows me around. He said, oh, yes. He said, he said, you don't seem like a typical American. And I said, dude, because I'm, I'm, I'm not here to, uh, I'm here to learn and uh, experience the culture. And he was really nice. He's like, oh, well, he's like, I'll take you around. And, he said, and he's like, oh, have you ever had this? And you should try this food. He said, this place is less expensive. He said, you should try this. He said, have you had the dumplings? And I was like, dang. Anyway, he was helping me out, and I was kind of zipping around the airport, waiting for my flight. And then he said, oh, you can go off and do, he said, you can't enter such and such city without a visa. And he was telling me all this stuff, and I was like, oh, that's awesome, man. He said, I, I said, you've been a really big help. And I'm going to get around everybody here. Okay. Wait a minute. Sorry about that, guys. Lost my train of thought. Check out the sunset. Isn't that crazy? 
Now that is a sunset with lots of little cay leaves. So anyway, he's taking me around and he tells me where to go and, you know, don't go over here and go over there and all this other stuff. Ooh, come on, man. Come on, guys. <laughs> anyway, so, look at these people. They're running. Good for them, man. By the way, I know I, I know I make fun of vegans all the time and fatties. Dude, if you're putting in the work, I'm not going to make fun of you, all right? See these big girls right here? I'm not going to make fun of you. Not at all, because if you're putting in the work, I'm proud of you. All my big girls. So, anyway, we go through the airport, and I start going off the beaten path, and I start getting into Beijing and stuff like that. I go back to the airport. He tells me where you can and can't go. you got to have a Chinese visa to do this. I'm like, okay, fine. So then I go back because my flight was coming up and this Karen who was on my previous flight, I recognized her. She was kind of, the flight was delayed and I was like, oh, okay, cool. That's fine. That gives me more time to explore. And Miss Karen thought it would be wise to blow a fuse. Miss Karen thought it would be wise to start wagging her finger at the airport to the Chinese officials and gentlemen I know I know I bring this up a lot because but it's because I've never seen anything like it in my entire life I've never seen anything like this this Karen starts wagging her finger for about two seconds all of a sudden these Chinese officials I don't know where the hell they came from with freaking their arm to the teeth they just surround her effing ass. This tiny, ca this Karen blonde, you know, California Karen. And I've never seen anything like it in my life because she got quiet like this, but it didn't matter. They just took her away. They, they go like this and then she's gone. They, t they just take her. She disappeared. <laughs> and I'm going, what the f what the hell just that she they just take her away she didn't she couldn't it got quiet because you know that karen's love to keep you know uh what is it going on and on and wag guys she no it was quiet as a church mouse and they go through these doors and that's it and i go what the hell just happened and then i talked to one of the representatives there because you know <laughs> I said, I'm not what that be. <laughs> and he goes, well, essentially, in so many words, you have to comply. You know what I mean? There is no freedom of speech and all this nonsense. Now, I know this shocks a lot of Americans, but look, there's a certain amount of that that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Because they were, they were more than prepared for a care. <laughs> she had no chance, guys. And she wasn't on, by the way, she wasn't on my connect. Who knows? She might still be in China. I don't know, guys. The bottom line is, when you go to these countries, you better respect their ways. You better mind your P's and Q's. And this is why the average Western woman cannot even compare. She can't even survive. In these countries because if she tries to she is in big trouble because gentlemen the problem with Western women is they're out of control and the only country that lets them be is Western men the only men that let them do this is Western men and that's why they can't compare they're stuck they're stuck in the West when you hear women say all the time you know, they said it for just a short period of time, but they're like, oh, I could do with passport bros. Can do no, you can't, sweetheart. I've known this for decades. Women in who were traveling overseas couldn't get a date in Japan if they're from America. I've known this for decades, man. Back when I was in college. Anyway, gentlemen, the, the bottom line is I've always been ahead of the curve. Yeah, I like me to not get it. God, look, guys, more attention. 
she was literally grabbing her purple stuff and pulling it. You know what I mean? While they always try so hard, man. It, it's just sad. It's desperate. It's pathetic. Anyway, when you get overseas, what can you look forward to? You can look forward to calm people nice people people and if you respect the culture it's going to be a lot better don't try to go against their culture guys wherever you go to do not try to be cool and rebellious you are going to stick out like a sore thumb and you are going to get shut down really quickly so for example what i did every day when i was in hong kong i had i had bad jet lag so i was waking up at like four in the morning Five in the morning and what I would do is wake up and walk around Hong Kong for hours and what was great about Hong Kong is everybody's very very calm very chill there's millions of people in a very 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 tight space very dense but it doesn't seem too crowded that's the crazy part and everybody was very friendly Quiet, yeah. but friendly. And if I asked for directions or if I spoke, spoke broken Cantonese, they were very friendly. They were very accommodating. There was nobody trying to run game on me. And what I found most refreshing, and this is going to blow you guys away, is any girl that I approached, any girl, any one of them, would be respectful any and every were very respectful if i rolled up on her like this little kayleaf right here if i rolled up on her and stopped her she would stop and i would stop and i would say excuse me do you know where kowloon walled city is etc park and she'd go oh I, my english is not very good but I will help you. And I would say, well, thank you. I'm so, I'm so thankful. Can I get you some cha, which is tea in Mandarin? And they would say, no, no, no. I, it is my pleasure to help you. And you're scratching your head going, these people are so friendly. They're so accommodating. How did it get like this? Well, gentlemen, unlike the West, who are sloppy, too ultra casual even myself the people in these countries present themselves as respectable they're not thoughting <laughs> Gee, guys the amount of thoughts out today is it's kind of ridiculous they're, they're pushing they're trying a little bit too hard i might have to go down an alleyway in a minute because this is kind of annoying they, you see what's funny guys is you don't see what's going on in front what a thought will do is get in the get towards my front camera and then try to get a bunch of attention and then realize that I'm not <laughs> recording. Oh, we're pet parents. Oh, we have no actual physical children. We have pets. Jesus Christ. So anyway, every time you approach, you say hello. You're very respectful. You don't have to bow in Hong Kong, guys. It's not that funny. But when you're respectful, you'll notice they respect you back. Now, again, <laughs> who were over there being annoying but Ameri uh, Western British women? Ultra annoying. Walking around a sloppy drunk. Falling over. Falling down stumbling, slurring their words, screaming out in public, trying to get attention. Guys, this was a while ago. And even then, the attention thought it was getting pretty bad. Okay? Western behavior has no business pretty much anywhere in the entire world except Western Europe, America, and maybe Canada. In Australia. <laughs> Gentlemen, you have to understand, these are not massive countries. They're not. 
the vast majority of the world does not operate like the West. The vast majority of the world fake alpha nonsense. <laughs> Thank God, my. If you have no ethics, if you have no courtesy, if you don't have any type of etiquette, don't leave the West because you will learn very quickly that you are not welcome. You want to see the sunset, guys? Check it out. He is stunning out. Yaw. Let's go back and see the sunset. Mm. Gentlemen, oh, guys, oh, I'm gonna, you're going to have to suffer. You must suffer with me. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> you guys are suffering. <laughs> I wasn't letting you guys not suffer with me. <laughs> I was like, man, you guys got to suffer with me, man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this girl looks like a clown. What are you doing? If you have no etiquette, if you have no... If you don't know how to, if you have no decorum, if you have no filter, you should probably stay in the West. Because heaven help you if you try to go to any of these patriarchal countries. Man, you are going to get railroaded badly. Because the locals are not going to put up with it. And what was funny is, the Cantonese people that were around me, when I was walking behind all these Brits, these British women who were so loud and noisy and annoying. What was funny is they looked at me and looked at them. I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm not with them. <laughs> I said, oh, no, uh-uh, no. Sai Chien, that means goodbye. I was like, goodbye. <laughs> Sai Chien. I was like, no. <laughs> That's in Mandarin, guys. And by the way, in Hong Kong, it's mostly Cantonese. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I get away from these? Freaking... Guys, there are so many to do. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna dance and try to your video. Goodbye. This girl, oh my God. She's dancing in her roller skates. I can't take it. I can't take it. All right, whatever. Ah. Men's daily advice and, and encouragement. What's up, Room in the Winner's Legion channel? Hey, the big homie, Mr. Dak Dakis. Yes. Kaylee's everywhere, guys. Today is Kaylee set. Guys, you want to see every Kaylee? There's like a billion Kayleys out today. Check out the sunset, man. <clears throat> People are partying over here at the bar, hanging out out outdoors. There's a bar over here. You guys want to see? I'll show you everything. This is a very... Very, very long pier. Take a look. It's a very long pier. Right. Very, very, very big pier. We do it big in LA, guys. Dude, this guy is huge. What the hell? It's massive. It's like, it's like a freaking gazelle. Anyway. Ah. Mind your P's and Q's, guys. Hit the hit the like button as you guys file in. I see more people filing in. Hit that freaking like button. I appreciate the freaking likes. The sunset is beautiful today. Oh, man, this guy's getting a running head start. Look at this old guy on his skateboard. He's flying, man. He's a beast. Guys, this Kaylee is checking me out while she went to <laughs> Anyway. So, yeah, the decorum is way way higher overseas if you've got a bad attitude if you think you are the god's gift to anything do not leave the country because you'll get slapped back on a flight back if you go to a patriarchal country they are going to chin check you pretty quickly okay guys i need you guys to be aware of that <sighs> I want you guys to be very well protected. I don't want you guys getting in trouble like the British girls. And by the way, if you're an attention thought American girl, please do not go overseas because you will get kicked right back to the West. They will chin check you. This girl looks very serious on her bike. She looks very upset. <laughs> 
I think she got dumped or something. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like a nice summer view there in L.A. I've never been there. If you ever do come, Man's Daily Advice, it is, it's very much like paradise. It's very calm for the most part, for the most part. Uh, pretty chill. Most of the people are pretty laid back. It can be annoying, though, because, guys, it's very, very, very left over here, okay? If you're conservative, you probably shouldn't stay in L.A., okay? This is not a conservative city at all. Not even a little bit. If you guys aren't okay with uh, rainbow flags and, you know, California cares, probably shouldn't. <laughs> it's good to visit. It's good to visit. If you guys want to have... Look, okay, check out... See this beach? This beach is massive. This beach just goes all the way up to Malibu, all the way down to Palos Verdes. So if you want endless beaches, guys, and people out and volleyball, you guys, it's September, it's October, and it's hot. You'll you'll definitely love it. It's very very cool. But as far as raising families, stuff like that, no, no, no. You want a hookup? You want a place where anything can happen? That's a different story. If you guys want opportunity, if you're a musician, if you're a struggling artist, if you're a freaking actor, you definitely got to go to the big, big, big epicenters. You have to go to either Los Angeles or New York. Now, is the competition fierce? Yes, it is. For example, here's your average K-Leap right here. See? Check it out, guys. Sunset, people out here. Isn't it beautiful? Your average K-Leaf over here is probably an LA 5.6. Very, very, very pretty. Very symmetrical face. You know. Little Kaylee's everywhere. Guys, there's Kaylee's everywhere. Kaylee over here. But, again... Oh, and if you're in the tech industry, too, you can go to Northern California. There's a helicopter. You can go to Northern California where Silicon Valley is. Um, but yeah. See, there's Kaylee's everywhere, guys. Kaylee's on roller skates everywhere. Kaylee's running. So, anyway. The population is very, very large also in Los Angeles. The other problem is it's very spread out. So, you got about 11 million plus people. Here's a little Lingling. Hey, Lingling. Lingling on her skateboard. <laughs> she looks a little nervous, though. <laughs> You'll see lots of chicks on skateboards and stuff. Anyway. Uh, everybody's happy, as you guys can see. Pretty, pretty chill. But, to raise a family, the divorce rate's very high here, guys. 60-70%. In Orange County, it's 70 some odd percent. So you got to be really, really raising families here is just not a good idea. It's just a bad idea because it will be broken. <laughs> so, but it, hey, it's fun. Here, you guys can see the cliffs. Can you see the cliffs way out there? Way out there. That's the end. And then if you go all the way in the opposite direction, see? More people playing volleyball. See, past that pier over there, that's the Cliffs of Malibu. Way over there. And Malibu is like this massive... Um, there's all these hills and stuff, and a lot of uh, celebrities live up there. And stuff. Guys, you'll see celebrities periodically. One of my employees, he saw Michael Hearn and got a picture with it. People, are, they're pretty friendly. You'll see actors and... Um, wannabe actors and yeah, it, it's pretty cool as it's it, uh so it's true you guys have a huge amount of California Karens like we do in both Missouri and Kansas yeah California Karens are um, they usually drive like a SUV and you know they want to speak to the manager and people are too nice to them and yeah, it's annoying, but guys, it's part it's part of liberal societies. Nobody keeps them in check. Um, 
it is what it is. So we have about, uh, it's, it's about, it, it skews more Asian, right? It skews more Asian where we are. But I'd say about 10, 15, 20% Asian, about 60, 70% white, 20, 30% Latino. I'm kidding. It's mostly Latinos. Got a lot of Latino population. Lots of K-Leafs everywhere. As you guys, guys, K-Leafs love volleyball. Isn't that a beautiful sunset? K-Leafs love volleyball, but <clears throat> not a place to raise children. It's a place to live your dreams. So, because you will be getting divorced. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. The divorce is the de guys. The divorce is planned before the wedding. <laughs> oh man! Dr. Dre's divorce situation showed us to be careful there when it comes to divorce and having kids in California, gentlemen. It's the, it's probably the worst state to get married and the worst state to get divorced. Period. End of story. You are in big trouble. Look at Sha Shaquille O'Neal and all these. It's it's horrible here. Because, gentlemen, they are probably going to get more than 50%. But they're going to get more like 75%. That's just how it is. And they're going to keep... And here's the worst part about it. The divorces take forever. You can get married in a heartbeat, just like that. But the divorce takes years. I've got a buddy who's going through a divorce right now, and he's got kids. Oh, my God, he is going to get railroaded. Plus, he makes a lot of money. So he's probably going to lose like 60, 70%. Plus, if you're married 10 years or more, it's a alimony for life, which they're trying to get overturned. But guys, you're at the mercy of the judge here. So, <laughs> yeah, bad, 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 bad. And that's why so many hot chicks come to Los Angeles is because there's guys with money. So, and New York is very similar. The problem with New York is it's very cramped crammed cramped and it stinks it's very dirty it's probably the, it's dirtier than los angeles and los angeles is pretty dirty but it's even dirtier it's disgusting oh new york is the stinkiest oh new york city stinks upstate new york is beautiful but new york city is oh it's, it's terrifying <sighs> been there way too many times in my life oh my lord so Minding your P's and Q's, your etiquette overseas is very important. Respecting the locals, respecting the culture, having a good attitude, not being... See, there's only about 10% black people across the country, guys. I bet you didn't even know that. Blacks are not, not as big as a popul... They're not as big of a population as people think. They really aren't. So, I know some of you guys live in, you know, uh, like Chicago and stuff. And But in a lot of these big cities, when you get outside of the big cities and you start going out to middle America, guys, it's mostly white people. So, yeah, there's that. But, I'm definitely going to get back to traveling. I can't wait. And my passport's good. Everything's updated. Got my stamps. So it's all about planning. And it's about understanding the local culture and just understanding even a little bit of the language. So for you guys going to Thailand, you better start Svadi Krap. You better understand Krap and Kra. And you better, Ka, excuse me. You better understand Sipa. You better understand a little bit of Thai. Because it's going to go a long way. Just a couple words. Just a couple words. Once you start learning the cadence of what they're saying, you are going to be much more ahead. Guys, there's literally Kayleys everywhere. See? Kaylee, Kaylee, Kaylee. See? Beautiful out today. It was extra hot out today, man. I think I got burned a little. I'm too white, guys. I can't... T that's, I don't think I can go to Thailand because it's too tropical. 
and I'm gonna burn my skin badly. So I'm probably gonna have to, like I was saying earlier, uh, Daegu, South Korea, where it gets cold and you know what I mean? Korea where there's winters and stuff. Cause I don't know if my, <laughs> I don't know if my skin can take it. <laughs> Damn, Tom Lyka said women get about 50 to 90% of a man's earnings in California. He's been married and divorced four times and warned us to this day to start dating overseas ASAP. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like it says, is the godfather in many ways. I think he, um, I think he learned his lesson. <sighs> but I think what's really great about what you guys are doing is you're learning from everybody's mistakes and you're actually paying attention because you're seeing it happen. See, before what would happen is men would go through these terrible things. Nobody would listen. Oh, that's just your problem. Oh, what? that would never happen to me. Well, it is happening to you. They're not imagined. Guys are starting to say, oh, crap. These things are really happening. They're happening to me. They're happening to every guy. Guys I know, they're seeing in real time what's happening. And it scares the crap out of them. And they should be scared. Because they can take everything that you've earned. They can take away your life, literally. So, and by the way, guys, my generation was the first generation to really see these big divorces. That, that, that. I learned a lot from that. That blew me away. When I started seeing these big, 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 massive divorces. You know what I mean? What the hell are you doing, man? This guy's just parked right here. What the hell are you doing? Guys, we have the worst drivers in Los Angeles, I swear to God. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, but I saw it. my generation was the first to see it. Big, fat, juicy divorces and girls getting 50, 60, 70 percent. Guys really didn't pay attention, though, before because it wasn't social media wasn't prevalent. Guys were not discussing these things. It was just one way aggression. The woman's voice was heard for the past mm, 30, 40, 50 years. Guys, we haven't gotten the mic. We've only had the mic for Maybe five, you know what I mean? Five, ten years max. We were, Guys, we barely just got the mic back. So guys are discussing these very important issues. And that's why the marriage rate is plummeting in the West. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, check it out, guys. This is what I was waiting for. I was kind of like meandering around. See these eight-figure houses here? This house, easily eight figures. Look at it. He's got some lions out front. Look at that. <laughs> He's got some freaking lions. He's got a... Yeah, guys. Oh, and it's for sale. What a surprise. Wow. Dang. Yeah. That's like a 10-bedroom. Holy moly. Check it out. Stunning. <sighs> Gotta love Los Angeles, man. Oh, here comes a little Kaylee. Hi. <laughs> Are you recording? Can I be in your video? <laughs> Kaylee's are cute. Man. They are adorable. Oh, dang, there's a bikini. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys ever visit LA, stop by. Come by in, you know, late summertime. Don't, you don't want to come in the beginning of summer, guys, because it gets really crowded. Tons of tourists. You know, it gets a little too nutty. Kind of end of summer-ish. It's usually the best time to come. And you will be... Yeah, it, it's... It's breathtaking, breathtaking views, breathtaking sunsets. Check this out. I'm going to zoom in. Hey, Kaylee, how are you doing? Uh, guys, there's bikini chicks everywhere. Even when I try to get a sunset, there's bikini chicks right there. You see what I mean? Spectacular. Whew. But yeah, for me, probably South Korea. Nice and co cool. Not too close to the equator. I don't want to get burnt. Dark guys, for you guys who have dark skin, you'll be all right. 
Um, did it, did it, did it. I think you would fall in love with Thailand and you will be there, be at 500k plus subs early, easily when you do the live boots on the ground tour. Yep, yeah, yeah, for sure. The crime rate in Thailand and Japan is crazy low. That's true. Look, look, I, lo I, I love, I love the tropical places. Guys, even Hong Kong gets really, really humid and hot. It's just my skin. <laughs> I have to wear a lot. I have to have lots of sunscreen or I'm going to get burned. Because white people don't do very well in heat, guys. We don't do very well in heat. The safety and accommodations for people there in Thailand is off the charts. Oh, I agree. I'm, it, I'm definitely going to Thailand. I'm just saying as far as living there, I'm going to have to think about that. Oh, there's another bikini. Kaylee, she's having a good time. But yeah, as far as living in the Philippines, living in Thailand, white people, you have to understand that this heat can be brutal. And by the way, their air conditioning and a lot of the, for those of you who need air conditioning or, you, you know, your skin just can't take it, you get tired. You got to look at these places. They don't necessarily have the best infrastructure when it comes to cooling. Okay. So just keep that in mind if you guys are really can't take the heat. Now, the snow, guys, white people flourish in snow because it's kind of our natural habitat. Does that make sense? That's why we have pale skin. Because we don't get a lot of sun. So the snow is it's very it's a very different experience. That's why you see a lot of white people going skiing and snowboarding and stuff like that. Anyway, it just it's it's just energizing. That's all. So, yeah, <laughs> probably a country I'm gonna live in. So your skin is easily sensitive to heat. I see. Thanks for the heads up. Well, yeah, white people white people's skin, guys. There's a reason why Africa, in Africa, got people have dark skin. It's because it's always hot out. You're not gonna get sun, guys. We get sun. Okay, if I spend ten minutes out in the sun at about noon any white person is going to get burned pretty quickly that's how our skin we cannot that's how our skin's set up does that make sense that's why you'll see a lot of pale people in europe does that make sense it's just genetics guys that's why some of us have darker the reason why we have longer noses is so when we breathe in air we can heat it up it takes longer to heat that's why people with darker skin usually have flatter noses because um it cools the air quicker so anyway you can look all this stuff up guys it's just genetics what else where am i going I don't know. Let's go around. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere we can really people. So yeah. So where are we going? I don't know. Let's go around. Let's go around everybody. When you do start traveling, when you guys start leaving, you're gonna notice that the way that they treat you is gonna be much, much different than when you come to a more Western place. You're going to notice people are more friendly overall overseas. You're going to notice people have better attitudes. You're going to notice, this is going to be, this is going to weird you guys out, but guys are going to introduce you to their daughters and women and stuff like that. It's going to get kind of weird. For some of you guys who aren't used to that, like you see these little Kayleys over here, Imagine the dad coming up to you and saying, hey, my daughter is of marriage age. Hey, my daughter is ready to settle down. You guys are going to be like, whoa, this is intense. But just remember, gentlemen, that overseas, the dad gives away the daughter. This is just how they operate. So they're going to be much more forward about it. Which means he signs off on you. So, for example, let's say you meet some 40, 50-year-old dude and he says, Hey, my daughter, my, my what's it called, um, 
my niece is, you know, she's of that age. She's ready to get married. She's 19, 20. I'm not kidding, guys. You're going to have some guys offer their daughter to you. And you're going to be kind of scratching your head going, what the hell is happening? But the way it operates overseas is it's a lot more direct. So if they think that you're a good guy, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I didn't know people put their, took their ducks over there. That's bizarre. So what about the skin tones of in Cambodia, and Malaysia, and Australia? Does it depend on how close they are to the equator? Well, yeah, and definitely there's, there's a lot of darker skin tones in Cambodia. Remember, darker skin tones are more adapted to outdoors. Lighter skin tones are more adapted to indoors, to the cold. That's why you see a lot of Eskimos are very light skin, igloos and stuff like that. Guys, you can look this up. Don't take my word for it. Uh-oh. Stream is glitching. Yeah, white skin is better adapted to the cold. Darker skin, better adapted to the heat. So, yeah, guys, when it's really, 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 really hot out, I can't even, I can barely function. It's just I have no energy. My body's just dead. Oh, jeez. But when there's... Tons of snow out, when it's cold out, oh man, I'm like a pig in slop. It's freaking great. Snow's hitting my face, oh, just love it. Anyway, let's go take a look at the marina, guys. Let's go see the marina. Let's see how beautiful it is out, glorious. <clears throat> So when I was in Hong Kong and it was really humid and it was really hot, man, guys, I was dying. It wasn't terrible, terrible. I've been in worse. But it definitely took the energy out of my sails, the wind out of my sails. So keep in mind, gentlemen, you're going to be experiencing a lot. The climate is going to be different. The weather, the altitude. Remember that some of these places are going to be up at much higher elevation too as well. So it's going to take some acclimation to the elevation. For example, every time I go to Denver, Denver is the mile high city. I already know I got to be drinking tons of water. I got to be drinking tons of water and I got to make sure my cardio is right. Because guys, when you get into Denver and you come from sea level, you're going to experience altitude sickness if you're not in shape if you have low amounts of water in your system because the higher you get up it the drier it gets so you fly right into denver you're already at eight thousand feet elevation you're going to be exhausted literally just breathing is exhausting you see what i mean so it's very important for you guys to understand your elevation when you leave the country what is the elevation you're going to? Are you going from high elevation to low elevation or low elevation to high elevation? Oh my God, guys, gym thoughts. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is a gym thought right here, right there. You guys see that? That's what's called a gym thought, right? If you guys don't know what that is, this is a woman that needs the tightest spandex that she can, that has a camel toe in the front. <sighs> she needs to show off every crack and curve to get maximum amounts of attention and she drinking her water but this is what you're going to get unfortunately in the west hold on check it out you guys are going to get high levels of attention thotting in the west especially in los angeles holy another problem with la is the amount of attention thoughts we have because every girl here is an actress or a model I'm an Instagram model. No, you're not. What are you modeling? Nothing. I'm an OF. Get that. Just get out of my face. <laughs> my real estate title company closer told me today she and her husband didn't want to leave Greece. They said 
at the most expensive restaurants in Greece, you would pay about 15 bucks per person to eat correct. The cost of living is incredible. She just got off a month's vacation from Greece. She was very disappointed and left. When his legion, you don't be lying. She said they were praising her and her husband like they were famous. Correct. Yeah. Your cost of living goes way, way, way down. I can't, gentlemen, I can't wait to move just for cost of living. You move to Thailand, you're literally spending four or five hundred bucks a month in rent? And you're living like a king? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Another four or five hundred bucks in utilities and freaking food? And you're literally grand total of a thousand a month living like a king. So maybe I can beat the heat. And there's guys out there living for a lot less than that. And for those of you guys who may be average Joes, you're literally living like a king over there. <laughs> you don't have to deal with any of these headaches. Now you're trading t for other headaches, but you just got to go where you're, where you're most comfortable, where you enjoy. <sighs> ah. So... And I haven't even really gone over cost of living because guys want to know more about women and all this stuff. But cost of living, guys, if you calculate it, it is. It is very inexpensive. And by the way, the reason why I don't say cheap is because cheap means poor quality. You can get very high quality things overseas for a fraction of the price. When I was in Hong Kong, gentlemen, I would get these, and in China, I would get these noodle dishes that were made from freaking scratch with the highest quality ingredients for like two bucks, three bucks. You'd get a full, <laughs> full three, four course meal for five, six bucks. It was ridiculous. I was going, what the hell? Made from by hand. There's no freezers. Oh, check it out. I didn't show you guys. Check it out. It is stunning out today, and it is calm. No Karens, no headaches. You know? Oh, my head! Ugh. Oh, I can breathe. My dome can breathe. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. American women can't compare. They wish they could. You know, deep down, gentlemen, AWs really do wish. They, they you know, have you ever heard of uh, Wishing Upon a Star? You ever heard that song? It's a Disney song, Wish Upon a Star. American women do wish. They really, really do. Deep down, that they can get a nice guy. They wish so badly every day of their lives that they could be with a good man now i know you guys think that they're oh they want a girl who's high a guy who's high value gentlemen that's a bunch of nonsense deep down they just wish they could be with a nice guy they wish but if wishes were fishes we'd all cast nets ouch <laughs> and at the end of the day they can't so what do they do they turn to anger they turn to rage they turn to projection they get mad. They get frustrated. And so all my legionnaires out there, this may shock you, but I actually have really good relationships with American women. They actually are very nice to me. They like me. They're <laughs> I get along with them actually very well. <laughs> as horrible as I am to them on this channel, <laughs> I make fun of them. I tease them. I mock them. I laugh at them. I poke at, I, I point. I point out all of their flaws. Most of the ones who I meet in the real world, they love me. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You're so mean. Oh my God. Can I, why, where is your girlfriend? Where do you, you don't have a girlfriend? Why don't you have a girlfriend? I don't know. <laughs> why don't you ask me? Yes, you want to know something? You want to know the funniest? Here's a funny one. <laughs> I was literally at a restaurant 
a while ago. I was at a restaurant. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna <laughs> men's daily advice first. I gotta he <laughs> men's daily advice gets priority because he's a donator. All right. Black man travel channel sand a person can eat easily for three dollars in Thailand. And Zoom to Thailand said the same thing. He said go to Soul Six and men can't fail when it comes to women. It's failed. Yeah, yeah, guys. Beauty. <laughs> Gentlemen, traditional foreign women are the majority. You just, guys, you're going to be walking along and you're going to have little nuggets coming up to you. Little Asian nuggets. Guys, I'm literally, okay, I'm wandering, I'm walking through this Hong Kong mall. Just walking. And I see this tiny little Cantonese. She's very pretty. She had little heart shaped. She's very pretty, guys. I was like, damn. And she goes, she goes like this, she goes, Hi, excuse me. I just wanted to tell you, you are very handsome. And I, <laughs> I said, she was so, guys, she was terrified of me. <laughs> and I started to laugh and I tried not to laugh because I didn't want to scare her. And she said, I am very nervous. <laughs> oh, she was cute, man. She was adorable. Shout out to her. <laughs> and then she starts to, man, she was a sweetheart. I, I, guys, I didn't break her heart. Don't worry. I wasn't mean to her. I was very nice to her. I was very, very nice. Anyway, what am I getting? Guys, you're going to meet beautiful women everywhere. But beautiful traditional form women are My sub, my subscriber, shout out to him. He doesn't, he's more of a private guy. But on our second clarity call, what does he tell me? He goes to the country. I'll just say the country he's going to, okay? I hope he doesn't mind. But the country he's going to, well, let's just say... It's Eastern, Southeastern Europe. Let's just say that, okay? He's going to the country. He goes to the country. Two traditional foreign women approached him. Two, not one, two. And went to church with him. Not 304s, not bar girls. And he was on the second call, or second clarity call. Guys, he was the happiest. The first clarity call, depressed, sad, deflated. Law, not lost, but just he really, really wanted to, you know? Second clarity call. He is full of it. He's just like, yeah, I'm moving overseas. I'm doing, we're doing it. He's getting his <laughs> passport bros, passport kings, living like kings, living for less, but getting more quality. Guys, we're going to get more bang for our buck. And by the way, as I told you guys, once I start vlogging overseas, it's over. Guys, I wish I had, man, I wish I had started this channel a couple of years ago. Man, guys, when I was traveling, oh my God. But I was not ready to start vlogging and doing all that stuff. I was not ready. Now I'm ready. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it's going to be glorious. I'm going to do, I'm going to do interviews. And I'm probably just going to make a completely separate channel and just interviews. And then this channel will be maybe the inside the, the, uh, the what's it called, the interviews. Where it's just the guys discussing. You can see what I mean? <clears throat> Start interviewing little traditional foreign women. Some of them are going to be really, really pretty. Some of them may be average. Maybe I'll just have a good range of, I don't know. But I'll have some questions, and I will put them all in Cantonese, or whatever their native language is, and then I will ask them the questions, then they answer it in their native language, and then I'll have it, uh, what's it called, um, what is it, translated for you. Because guys, a lot of traditional foreign women don't speak English, and if they do speak English, it's poor. The reason for this is because they don't care about becoming American. They couldn't care less. Check it out. It's beautiful. Oh, man. You guys want to... Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the... Guys, they don't care about coming to America. Guys, you think a hot, happy, native chick is going to want to come to, you know, Los Angeles with a bunch of thoughts? No, they don't want to come here. They don't want to come to America. Yeesh. Ah. <sighs> 
Men's Daily Vice. How often were you getting approached from women in Asia, just normal, regular women that make contributions to society, not H's and P's? Um, some of them did approach, but most were just too shy. They were very scared. But they would go, they would just be, <laughs> they'd be staring. St just, and then they, they did. <laughs> You can, guys, you can, you can, most of them are very, very shy. Well, in Asia, in Asia, very shy. Oh my God. But they're very approachable. Very approachable. I, you just, they'll literally look at you and you just say, and then they get very, very shy and you just, guys, they're easy to, if you're going to get rejected, it's going to be not embarrassing at all. Let's just put it that way. They're not going to be laughing at you and, oh, look at this dork. I'm going to put him on Instagram. I'm going to uh, make it. No, guys. They're very, 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 very approachable, very nice, very respectful. And if they don't like you, you're going to know. If they do like you, you're going to know immediately. And most of them are just, just happy to speak with you. And they're very, they're very curious about the West. They ask lots of questions. Guys, let's approach these thoughts right here. Let's see. Let's see if I can catch them. My legs feel better today. About that, guys. My stream dropped for a second when I was chasing these. <laughs> when I was chasing these thoughts, my stream dropped. That, should, that tells you something. Don't chase American. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, be prepared. Be prepared for a different culture. And above all else, enjoy your time in these countries. Enjoy the learning curve. Enjoy them teaching you about their history because they're going to tell you a lot about their country. And they're going to respect that you do not understand their country, but that you are open to learning about their country. They're going to be very happy about, oh, no. Oh no. Okay, wait a minute, guys. Get some attention thoughts. I'm going around. Check out the check out this beautiful hotel. Check out this beautiful hotel. Check it out. This is stunning. Just a beautiful hotel right there on the water. Oof. Right there on the water. Top top notch hotels. Los Angeles has some of the most beautiful, most gorgeous hotels. We got some really nice hotels here. So FYI. Expensive, but nice. Oh, men's Daily Advice is on fire. Austin Holman said their rejection is very polite and respectful and friendly. As a matter of fact, they will help introduce you to their single fine-ass friends and family members. Um, yes, correct. Guys, they're not rejecting you because... You know, they're just trying to be jerks or whatever. They're usually, the girls who reject you are usually in relationships. You see what I mean? So, we need to go overseas. It's a little bit different. Right? Traveling. Traditional, by the way, if they're a traditional foreign woman and they're giving you choosing signals, guys, they're probably single because they're trying to settle down quickly. The the little the Cantonese who approached me at the mall, who was very brave, she wanted to settle down. Not because she was a 304, none of that, because she wanted to have babies with a Westerner. Period. And she was very straight up about it. So, and I'll, to be honest with you guys, <laughs> she, it was very, I'm not going to lie, it was very tempting. I was very tempted. Ugh. Freaking 304s everywhere, dude. I was very tempted, gentlemen. But it's cool. You know, they come and go. They're everywhere. And that's why I'm not in a rush. And you guys should not be either because you've got all the time in the world. When you want to do it, you can execute. And when you don't, you don't have to. Whew. Yeah. So for me, it's going to be interview the little TFWs, translate it, probably stream that on Facebook, Insta, and YouTube all at once. 
and then maybe maybe live maybe live we'll see depends on how good their english is that will be kind of cool like a little q a especially if they're willing to commit the time because guys if they're traditional form women they're looking for they're looking to get married they might be after you <laughs> so let's say i did like a live stream with traditional form women they'd be they might be a little embarrassed to do that they might be just a little bit but i'll i'll just let them know look there's a lot of passport kings what's going on kaylee kaylee's in shape man she is in shape damn she is in shape good for you girl but she might be a little scared the tfws get they just get a little nervous but you know i'll calm her down behind the scenes and yeah that's the plan guys it, it, again it might be on a completely separate channel uh but i think that's the plan because when i vlog overseas it's almost going to be it's almost going to be eat it, foregone conclusion to just bump into a tfw and pop her on the stream either that or set up a little interview schedule for when she's done with her whatever school or work or whatever pop her on the stream and say hey my legionnaires want to marry traditional foreign women what can they expect what would a girl like you what would you what would you see a good man to be and then they'll tell me everything and hopefully i can translate it <laughs> and then some of them do guys some of them speak really good english because they do want to be with the western you see what i mean so and then I will ask her, what is your body count? And she will say, what is body count? I don't understand what is body count. Have you ever had a boyfriend before? Oh my goodness, I have never had, I have never even had a kiss. I have never been kissed in my life. I am very nervous. Guys, that's how they, there's, <laughs> it's like a little, uh, it's like a little bunny. You know what I mean? It's like an innocent little bunny. They just, they don't even know what the hell's going on. So. Men's daily advice is Eastern Europe and South America on your list. Colombia, Brazil, or Guyana? Or yes. Yes, sir. All of the above. Well, definitely Colombia. Um, what is the other one? Bulgaria. Eastern Europe. I even have some people that I met. I'm not even kidding, guys. I met a Bulgarian couple and they told me to get my ass over. So when I do go there, I'll be hitting them up before I go. What is going on, Lingling? Little Linglings, man. Man, so bouncy. I told you guys, it's freaking... Yes, I will. And yes, I'm going to let you guys know when the tour dates are. I'll let you know when, when the schedule is. And that'll be that. I'll set up the live stream, fire up the camera, fire up the mics. Have the little mic, and that's it. And then you guys can ask traditional forum women your questions, which should be pretty cool. And if I can't live stream from there, I'll at least, at the very least, get the videos uploaded. So, booyah. So, yeah, guys, American women, they really don't have a chance. They can't compare. It's, they don't even know what the hell they're doing over there. Let them struggle. Let them do their thing. Let them get mad. Let them throw their little tantrums. They'll learn in the long run, like little children always do. Donkey punch the like button on the way out. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Share this stream. I really appreciate all of you. Hit the notification bell. And be prepared, gentlemen, because the tour dates are coming. The international, the international stuff is happening. And by the way, I might just be going to Japan. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of uh, Europe coming up soon. You never know. But I'll definitely keep you guys. I'm going to let you know. I'll let you know in the community section. As always, you can hit me up via Clarity and or email. And yeah. 
It's going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome rest of the year and next year. As always, gentlemen, <sighs> I'm definitely watching you. So let's get 